Good afternoon. I should probably be in bed. I just got out of bed. But anyways, uh, something tweaked me. Oh, it was a conversation with memes of destruction. Go visit memes of destruction. Memes of destruction. Yay. Go visit memes. Memes crazy and entertaining. And memes had this video that was all about, you know, the theory of everything and stuff. But, uh, oops. One little part. stuck with me, which was the origin of mass. And I always liked, uh, so I get my mass the way I'm going to do a quick and dirty derivation of mass and how mass comes about. And I'm going to borrow my friend Albert's famous, most, most famous equation. Do, 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 do. All right, we're going to move it around. And we're going to make it M equals C over C squared. Because we want to find out about mass. This is if you want to know about energy, you take mass, right? And since mass is C squared, speed of light squared, light squared, there, it explodes out and you get a bunch of energy. But let's think more about the mechanism of how you got that mass in the first place. M equals E over C squared. So mass equals energy. Energy. Okay, and we know when we're talking about mass that we're going to be talking about little spherical blank, uh, like Planck-like unity things or something. You know? So we have your energy, and it's going to be distributed over a sphere. Right, and for a few tricks in a conversation, I'm going to do, so here's one, like, here's one axis, right? This would be one plane of rotation, and then, let's say, and then you'd have another one like this, right? And then, if, then you'd need one third one that would look to us almost flat, because it would be spinning that way, and it would be going this way like that. You know, like if you were building um, those things that stay upright <coughs> when you turn them, I'm having a blank. Okay, but I'm still drawing the blank. You have energy distributed over the sphere. I should be in bed. Energy distributed over a sphere, right? There we go. Okay, and then, but energy is light like electricity is like flows at light speed so we have c squared so we have this energy moving accelerating well it says it seems like it's accelerating i'm not even accelerate over such a smart thing but actually you don't need to because the classical derivation of angular momentum is velocity squared times the radius. Radius doesn't count because it's an infinitesimal that we're spinning over. It's the smallest thing you can make. So it's an infinitesimal, so it doesn't really count. But you still get the velocity squared, c squared, right? And the way this creates inertia is just like you have a wheel that's spinning, right? You have a wheel that's spinning. Everybody knows this. Now you try and move that wheel laterally, and this is, you're going to get a torsion on this thing, right? A resistance to that movement. And it will want to move in another direction, but not actually move itself, but instead twist as a compensation. Well, you've got that going on all three dimensions. Okay, so basically, and it's inertia. Energy spinning, energy in orbit over a plank creates inertia and that's mass is resistance to movement instead what happens is you get a mag uh, you know instead you get electrical mag and magnetic fields because those are the 90 degrees of the floats 
is, you know, this is sort of like the classical derivation of mass from just the mechanics of energy in orbit creates centrifugal force because it's in orbit. You know, angle, there's an angular momentum there that is usually compensated for for gravity, but it, the gravity is its own gravity from over on this side. Or just the tip, actually. I'm even thinking about that. You know when you draw gravity wells, like you know, like this. Well, I wonder if it just needs to be like this, and this is actually why I like this. Is because if you're spinning, then you need a higher slope on this side to keep you on track. You didn't, don't need hardly any slope. You just needed enough slope to get you there. But then you just need it, and then you need enough to keep you in place. Like gravity is that force to be able to do that. Anyway, very classical way of explaining why there's mass from energy because it's in orbit and therefore it gets angular momentum, but in every single direction. And that's inertia.